differently. You know, oftentimes I would hear that I came from a different country. I grew up in the state of South Dakota, and they were often <laughs> three months to three years behind. So I, I know what you mean by, by that, by them still celebrating on April 1st. Today for my humor, I'm gonna be sharing a few different stories and in between each story, I'm gonna give you an idea of maybe some last minute pranks you could pull on your friends, your family, or your coworkers. So first I'm gonna start with a story. Planetary alignment decreases gravity. Yes, April 1st, 1976. During an early morning interview on BBC Radio 2, the British astronomer, Patrick Moore, announced at 9.47 a.m that a day, uh, that day, a once in a lifetime astronomical event was going to occur. Pluto would pass behind Jupiter and this planetary alignment would temporarily counteract and lessen Earth's own gravity. Yes, Earth's own gravity. Moore told his listeners that if they jumped into the air at that exact moment that the alignment occurred, as quixotic as it sounded, they would experience a strange floating sensation. When 9.47 a.m. arrived, the station began to receive hundreds, yes, hundreds of phone calls from listeners claiming to have felt the sensation themselves. One woman reported that she and her friends had risen from their chairs and they had floated around the room for a little while. Moore had intended that his announcement to be a spoof of a pseudo-scientific theory and that had recently been promoted in his book called The Jupiter Effect. Yes, he was on that radio show promoting his book, The Jupiter Effect, but hundreds, yes, hundreds of people fell for that joke that day. If you're looking for a last minute for joke to, to pull on your coworkers, if you're in person, working in person, here's one for thought. If you work for the HR department, why not tell everybody, hey, somebody new is starting today. Set up a desk right next to you, put some papers on it. Throughout the day, add a cup of coffee, move some papers around, put different backgrounds on the computer. And then at the end of the day, ask all your coworkers how they, what they thought of the new person. <laughs> Story number Good two, idea. the Taco Liberty Bell, April 1st, 1996. The Taco Bell Corporation took out a full page ad that appeared in six major newspapers announcing that it had bought the Liberty Bell and was remaining and renaming it the Taco Liberty Bell. Hundreds of outraged citizens called the National Historic Park in Philadelphia where the bell was housed to express their anger. The nerves the, their nerves were only calmed when Taco Bell revealed a few hours later that it was all just a practical joke. The best line of the day came when the White House press secretary at the time, Mike McMurray, was asked about the sale. Thinking on his feet, he responded that the Lincoln Memorial had also been sold. It would now be known, he said, as the Ford Lincoln Memorial. Creative. Trying to think of another practical joke last minute to pull on your maybe family or friends. Here's a good one. It is April 1st. And this time of year, we sometimes get those late snowstorms. Find one of those old winter storm warnings on YouTube and play it over a few times saying that a winter storm is coming in this weekend. See how many people you can get to, to, to put their face, face palm and finally, last story of the day, Nixon for president. April 1st, 1992, National Public broad Radio Broadcast, Talk of the Nation, revealed that Richard Nixon, in a surprise move, was running for president again. His new campaign slogan, I didn't do anything wrong and I won't do it again. <laughs> Accompanying his announcement were audio clips of Nixon delivering his candidacy speech. Listeners responded viscerally to the announcement, flooding the show with calls expressing shock and outrage. Only during the second half of the show did the host, John Hockenberry, reveal that the announcement was a practical joke. Vixen's, Nixon's voice was impersonated by comedian Rich Little. Everyone, 
Have a great April Fool's Day. <laughs>